Good afternoon, evening, morning, I suppose depending on what time you're watching really. Anyway, it's afternoon for me. In the shed, uh, well I get my tash out my mouth. So, I came up against a, a problem. And the problem was insulating the shed. So obviously that, is an outside wall. I've got a 3b2 in between, so I want to try and insulate that gap. Now, I've got, if well, the, the more observant of you I know, will know, I collect quite a bit of this, right? And if you've ever seen my garage, you'll know that there's a lot. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little. <coughs> A little bit of a cold there's a lot of the plastic left over so due to the fact of me being a super mega genius I thought right what I'll do is I'll use that PVC insulation as insulation for my shed so using electrical insulation as thermal insulation I don't know might work cheaper than buying rock wool because at the moment, I think rock wool for, for a roll is about four grand or something. Anyway, that's what, that's what the builders are charging. Right, so what I've done is I've rigged this up. Trusty wood chipper. And he's on a, I've put him on a trolley. And I'm hoping that that, when I put the stuff through there, will shoot it down and into there. Obviously, there's going to be some mess. But I hope that it sort of works. I've got myself an extension lead so I can plug into that. Roll the trolley down towards the end and fill it all up. I hope. And then what I'm going to do, the next level up, I'll have to fill that by hand. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, yeah, I hope this is sort of going to work. It might be a complete and utter disaster and I might have to go and buy some rock wool. But it's twofold for me. I get rid of a lot of, ma of waste without having to hire a skip. And what was the other one? I don't know. What was the I can't even think of the other reason. Environment. Is it environment in there somewhere? I don't know. Anyway, this is what we're going to go at. See if it works. Right, here we go. The fuse had popped. I think that has worked pretty well. That's pretty densely packed in there. That one could do maybe a little bit more. But the stuff that hasn't quite made it into the... So I'll, I'll as I'm going along, I'll top top them up to the level with the stuff that's come on, uh, fell onto the floor. That was sort of 
So look where we are now. So that was full to about there. Now granted, I'm not going to get through all of this because I've only, what have I got? There's that one's just started. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits. I know the, I, could, I could do the ceiling, but I think the ceiling would be a bit of a pain in the in the bum. Oh no, I've got the ones at the back as well. So let's say like 11. But it is going to get rid of some of it. And then what I might have to do is from this point is just go up with um, up to the top with the uh, rock wall insulation. But I think that's working quite well. I'm going to crack on now and see if I can get the majority of it finished. Right then, how many panels? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels done. I've stopped because <clears throat> that is toasty. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to do. And yeah, that's pretty decent. I've got loads more in the garage. It's not like amount of material. But that's, uh, yeah, pretty decent. Uh, what I'm going to do as well <clears throat> is I'm going to get the other stuff and I'm just going to make a pile of it in one corner somewhere or along the edge there and I'm going to fill it up to about there, put the Corex into about there and just fill it in by hand. I know it'll take an absolute age, but I'll do it. Or somehow raise that up to fire it in, I don't know yet, but I'll see. Uh, I made a, a wood shelf. That's my temporary electrics. So basically I've got an outside socket at the back there. They come in through, up, on, and I've just took a uh, supply off there, over to a light switch, and back to this. Just to get me away, and I'm gonna run the next, hopefully run it in soon. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that, as a, an insulation. I'm going to get one of those meters, the R test meters, to see what the difference is between the just the board and the actual where I've where I've actually insulated. See what it's what the difference is. But I'm quite pleased with that. I think it was a great idea of mine. Plus saving the planet and that, you know.